Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Sleep. As you can see, maintenance has completed. We are now on version 1.0.15. Make sure to update your apps. And let's head into sleep research for today after we get this small amount of data. <laughs> Very excited to see some of these quality of life improvements get in there. And now we're all set for the holiday event starting next week. Okay. <clears throat> Wonderful. 100 sleep score. Happy to see that. And a fun mix of everything. But looks like snoozing is going to be winning out today. Oh, it's balanced! Been a while since I've seen balanced. I'm trying to get better at being able to read <laughs> that graph and get an inkling of what's been more pronounced than others. Really? Okay. All one star, one four star. <laughs> Fine by me, I guess? We got Growlithe and Cyndaquil. Hound Hour, Pseudo Wudo, Gulpin, more Gulpin, and Hound Hour. Wow. <laughs> Again, another day of repeats. It's okay, though. I'm not expecting a whole lot from this week, so. <laughs> Happy to just see some Pokemon I don't see in normally a whole lot. Oh, two hungry Pokemon. Um, I definitely want to recruit the Growlithe because I'm just going to continue to try to get a better one than the one that's on the team. And because Gulpin's hungry, we give it a biscuit. Nice and easy. <laughs> okay. That'll take care of snack time for today. I wouldn't mind some more Hound Hour, but really I'm waiting more until they're hungry. And we'll leave uh, Growlithe there on the, the tummy. Nothing out of this batch is particularly super helpful to everyone else, so just dealer's choice on that. Alright, let's see the stats. A jelly nature. It's skill based. Energy recovery bonus, skill trigger, inventory up, sleep bonus, XP, ingredient finder. With the XP gains. Promising at the start, but not worthwhile in the long run. Alright. Quite a lot of sneaky stacking, because past 8 o'clock last night, nothing got through. Everything else was just getting used in there. Diamonds for the rewards, rank up. So funny thing that actually ended up happening, I did manage to like pop into the game right before maintenance started, but I only had 15 ingredients waiting for me because I had had lunch so late in the day for Snorlax. So I just decided, you know what? I'm not gonna even bother, even though I made a big deal about making sure I get my cook in, but 15 ingredients, it just didn't seem worthwhile that, you know what, I'll just hold on to them. Oh, I guess it didn't even, maybe it didn't even count me collecting those 15 ingredients. Interesting. But yeah, it just didn't seem worthwhile at the time. So it was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna let them do their thing. And thankfully, 
most of the missions give you a little bit of leeway. You can miss a meal or two. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. We've got a notice on the shops. How we have some... Oh, something in there. Yeah, general store. The daily gifts have started! A gift that you can get once per day at no cost contains one kind of item chosen at random. <laughs> in typical fashion. Alright, let's make some room. I'm literally, I only need to make space for one. Please. <laughs> Ten diamonds! I will take that. That's a great daily get. I wonder, I'm gonna have to check with some of my friends and see what they've been getting as gifts. But now we have something new added to the morning routine. Gotta make sure to get that daily gift. <sighs> okay. So we have the maintenance complete notice and the update contents. This should just be going over the stuff that was already announced as part of it, but I'm just going to take a moment to go over it just in case there was something missed. So, updates to the latest version. We already did that. Uh, added the bones for the holiday event that will be going on next week. Daily gifts added to the general store. These gifts can be accepted once per day at no cost. Each gift contains one kind of item, such as poker biscuits or diamonds, chosen at random. So they specifically call out biscuits and diamonds, but they also say such as. So I'm wondering if there's some also some other things in there like incense, cluster, dream cart, dream shard clusters. Things along those nature. Uh, I will have to report back later. I'm sure we'll all see what's going on with that. But something new and exciting to check out every day. Game contents. Adjustments made to be easier to pick up berries by ingredients by clicking. The tap and flick response area has been increased. And the area can be changed based on the camera zoom status. Adjustments have been made to Swalot and other large Pokemon whose berries have been hidden. Seemed pretty easy from what I was doing, but I've been getting a lot of practice at it. So that will be fun to see in the, the coming weeks with some team changes and see how that works out from historically Pokemon that were difficult to collect berries from. The friends list in the research community have changed to show friends in order the most recent to send research reports. Ooh. Like that. That wasn't normally. That wasn't posted elsewhere. That's good. The max capacity. The bag's item pocket has been enlarged from 500 to 600. And ingredients, again, 500 and 600. 500 to 600. Good. So for those of you on the bleeding edge, you can get that even larger. Play will now be temporarily suspended when the device's time settings are repeatedly changed. Don't cheat. On the map screen, the numbers of Pokemon whose sleep styles haven't been seen yet will be replaced with question mark, question mark, question mark. Hmm, that's interesting. Don't get to the map screen all that much, so that should be fun to see how that uh, appears once we get to Monday. A notification has been added to inform users that they don't have enough storage space if the device has less than 100 megabytes of storage space left. Good. That's, that's good alerting. I also really hope that someone's not leaving their device with literally that much storage left on it. Bad things happen. <laughs> things get to that low storage, so please be mindful of your device's capacity. The, next, the max number of research reports that can be retrieved through the research community has been changed to 50 per day. Which makes sense. Unless someone napped. 
was trying to think through like, no, you have 50 friends, they're going to get 50 reports. But if they nap, they're going to add additional reports because they got additional stuff. So it's going to cap at how much someone's going to be getting in a day. So nappers, be mindful. I don't know any other better way to describe that. Adjustments to a case that caused sleep consistency grades to become considerably worse. Changes were made that when a user tracked sleep twice in one day, but the longer sleep session, the longer sleep session fails, the shorter sleep sessions tracking will not be included in this consistency grade. So that just sounds like quality of life. Uh, just to make sure that um, you're being able to get that maximum reward at the end of the week for that uh, grade. Balance adjustments. Number of candies received when sending certain Pokemon Professor have increased. Ivysaur has increased from 5 to 7, Venusaur from 5 to 10. So the mid and third stage evolutions would seem to be getting more candy for transfer, which is good. It makes it more incentivized when you got them and you were only getting smaller margins between the two. Or, actually in this case, that is just a consistent 5 across the board, didn't matter, but now it matters higher evolutions, you get more candy. <clears throat> Effectiveness on the main skill Dream Shard Magnet S is increased. At level 1, from 88 to 240. At level 6, from 568 to 1260. So really giving that a big buff. So it's worthwhile to have that. Uh, so when you're going to be creating teams that want to collect dream shards for when you want to be doing a lot of Pokemon leveling, it's going to be the way to do it. Effectiveness of the main skill Extra Helpful S increased. At level 1, from 4 to 5, at level 6, from 9 to 10. So, making it the percentage that which Pokemon help extra speed, uh, has bumped up even a little faster. That's great. Adjustment so that when a Pokemon with a main skill specialty that hasn't had its main skill triggered after a certain number of times, it will become easier for the main skill to be triggered. Oh my goodness, that is great to read. So if you've been noticing like, hey, the main skill of this Pokemon hasn't triggered in like two or three days, it should be easier to, to pop that. The third gets Snorlax to a certain raiding mission. The mission that has a reward of Pokemon Incense in the weekly missions was made easier to complete. That's great. Just make it easier for everyone to get that Pokemon Incense. Because some of us may not be getting to Master every week. Or we may be in a spot that, hey, this is a new zone for me. So it's not super easy to always get to Master on the first week. That's great. So that'll be fun to see come next week when it actually goes into effect. So we'll see when we get back. Bug fixes. Notifications not displaying properly when the server is crowded. Okay. I didn't realize that there was crowding on some of the servers. Pokemon in the Pokemon box that have natures that lower their energy recovery only up to 80 after sleep tracking. It's a just, I guess, the way it's displaying in the Pokemon box. Bonus biscuits that were given out automatically during sleep research not being counted toward give out X biscuit missions. Uh, so that's just fixing them to make sure that they actually count. You want to actually get some credit. In certain very rare cases, the app becoming unable to process, to proceed when linking with an Apple ID. That's really important for iOS users. Uh, you definitely, like, that's your way of being able to make sure that your saved data is backed up. So, uh, that is good that that is nipped in the bud with this version. And specific fix to Android, news text not displaying properly when the text size is affected by Android devices font size settings. So they're just making it accessible and readable. That's good. Wonderful. There's a lot of fun little things in there that were not as part of the initial announcement. 
very excited to see some of those come through. Friends doing good. Alright. Well, that was a lot of fun news. <laughs> what are you most excited about? I am very curious to know. So do let me know down there in the comments. Still not enough for a full pot, but that's okay. This is just not a cooking week for me. Alright. And at Ultra 5, so should be getting to Master at some point. Today, probably, probably dinner, I'd say. But, I think that's going to do it for me for today. Thanks for stopping by. Hope your <laughs> sneaky snacking was bountiful this morning after maintenance. Uh, hope your bugs are fixed, and I hope you're excited for the week to come. I know. I really am. And I will be back tomorrow for some more sleep research. But in the meantime, sleep well. <laughs>